If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I mean, what what does Bill Gates not have his hands in? Computers, to jabs, to climate control, sun dimming. <laughs> not funny, really. To even our food and our agriculture. The guy owns all the farmland in the country, too. And he's very concerned about the fertilizer. And what a coincidence that he happens to provide the potatoes used for McDonald's fries. Now, we all know how healthy McDonald's is. <laughs> I'm just, obviously, I'm joking. McDonald's French fries. Now, I'm sure you've all heard the theories about the things that are put in McDonald's foods. And I'm not talking about, you know, biting into McDonald's and getting a piece of hair or someone else's toenail on your meal, which you probably will get nine out of ten times at McDonald's. But I'm talking about fetuses. <clears throat> yeah, those types of things. You know, planned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hood, mm -hmm. parent, connect the dots, rearrange the words. You're welcome, algorithm. But now think about this, right? I want you to think for a second. Not even about how Bill has his hands and everything and how people should be like, why, who, you know, if this is a republic and we elect people and we're in charge, the people are in charge. That's what they, they claim in this fake reality that we live in where these idiots actually think that's really happening. Shouldn't people be like, well, who, who elected this guy to do all this stuff? People are like, well, he's got the right to buy farmland. He's got the right to sell it to, to McDonald's. Well, the guy's got his hand in just about everything. And this happens to be the same guy who was quoted as talking about those old Depops, right? And I'm not talking about Pop-Tarts. The old Depop, did it, elation, right? And how we need it. There's too many people here. Him, Ted Turner, all the rich, Openly admit it. And as you see in my intro with the Georgia Guidestones, well, those are the things that we really need to get eliminate here in America. Those are things, though, that can be used as learning tools to people as to why this is here and why it's protected. They'll say, well, it's on somebody's private property. Oh, well, they had a lot of money to fund those gigantic hedgestone like things. And uh, I'm pretty sure if I put something up on my property that said we needed to, uh, you know, whack people, um, that people would complain and the township would come and it would be taken down or the state would do something. You know what I mean? But in this case, it's protected. Anywho, Bill's got his hands in everything. He's got his hands in your food. He's got his hands up your butt. He's got his hands in the jab. And nobody's suspicious about this guy. Now, this guy, of course, has been seen with his hand. You know, one of the things you can connect the dots with with him is Boys Town in Nebraska, where he also owns a lot of land. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Franklin cover-up, you can check out that video on my website, which also, by the way, a video just went up on my website that everyone needs to see about, oh, cell phones sticking and keys and all sorts of things sticking to people. So check that out. Make sure you subscribe. It's well worth it. And there's plenty of things coming on shedding this week, how snakes shed their skin. Yeah, so did Jabberood. Uh, anywho, Bill, back to Bill, and his connection to Warren Buffett. Now, Warren Buffett is his handler, 25 years apart, 65 and 90, best buds. You saw the pictures of him with the cake and how much he loves Warren. You've seen them at McDonald's together, right? So you could thank Warren when you're talking about Bill. Don't forget to add Warren to it because Warren's pulling a lot of Bill's strings. Warren, you know, we're just supposed to believe every time he guesses something in the stock market, he's 100% right and has become a billionaire. All his money is obviously from trafficking because of the traffic. It's from traffic. You know what I mean? There's a lot of traffic in Nebraska. Cars are always, it's like LA traffic. Cars are always just backed up behind each other. And you could thank Warren Buffett for a lot of that. And that's a lot of where his money comes from because he invests in the highways, wink, wink. Anyway, now back to Bill here with McDonald's. What I want to talk about is how interesting all this is, knowing what McDonald's and what they put in their food, even though, of course, that's a conspiracy that people don't want to ever address because they love their McDonald's. But there's nothing but truth in the fact that we know that they're 
putting all these things in the food and what they're doing to society. The FDA is just as bad as the CIA. But remember when I was talking about human compost? You might say, call human compost, because this video is, I believe, removed from my removed channel, which got deleted. Human compost, now legal in Washington. You might say, human compost? Yeah. So they're taking bodies that have passed, deceased, and they're using it as fertilizer. That's right. Fertilizer. Human fertilizer. Because you want to eat something grown out of uh, your local plumber's uh, you know, dead body. They love to grow tomatoes. Let's grow some, let's grow some basil. The old lady up the road croaked. Let's uh, let's go get her cremated. Let's put her ashes in the backyard and we'll grow some basil. Huh? Anyone creeped? Should be. <sighs> but they're not. People continue to go. That's great because what does Bill stand for, right? Other than G-pop. He stands for climate control. And they've been talking about mixing this in, of course. Climate change, climate control with fertilizing and being able to grow food, saying that because of all the stuff with the climate, it's making it difficult for people to fertilize. And they've been saying now, now Bill, his foundations fund these things. Bill hasn't openly, not from what I've seen, come out and talked about it. But in Washington, they have passed this. There's a place that is actually doing this. People are paying like six grand to have their uncle who cremated so that they can grow, you know, some peppers inside of his ashes in the backyard. Tonight, burials, cremations, and now a new alternative. It was the craziest idea I had ever heard. Human composting in Western Washington. This um, glass of soil used to be a cow, not a human, but um, it's the very same process. Cairo 7 goes in depth on this eco friendly ending. It is called Recompose, the first business of its kind, and it's set to open in Seattle in 2021. The human composting company is taking shape in Soto. Cairo 7's Allison Grandy got a first-hand look at the plans. Each person gets their own vessel for one month. That isn't a dead body. Katrina Spade gave us a look at the computer-generated images for the first human composting site in the world planned for Seattle. To be able to stack them because we wanted to be able to take advantage of vertical height in our cities. Recompose is scheduled to open in Soto in the spring of 2021. We have a ton of interest. It's really exciting. Spade came up with the idea more than seven years ago. Realizing livestock have been composted by farmers for years. She was looking for an alternative for humans, so she teamed up with the Wazoo Soil Science Department. They used the bodies of six human donors and proved it is safe and effective for humans as well. So this um, glass of soil used to be a cow, not a human, but um, it's the very same process. The law she helped pass goes into effect in May. Now she has a home for Recompose and the building is taking shape. Everybody enters the same way, but it's also the presence of nature. With the help of Seattle design firm Olsen Kundig. And I'll be honest with you, I was shocked. I, I, it was the craziest idea I had ever heard. Olsen Kundig just finished the $100 million remodel of the Space Needle. Creating a new space for human composting is a new kind of first. To make this this a very sort of new and unusual and extraordinary place and a third option for burial in this state. It didn't take much time for him to be convinced. But the more she talked about what it means and how this can actually transform the sort of burial industry, I literally in that one conversation transitioned to two thoughts. One is this is what I think would be appropriate for myself. But the more I thought about it, I think this would be appropriate for the world. They found an existing warehouse in Soto with a beautiful wood ceiling. Uh, we were blown away by this uh, bow truss, which is this structural piece that has this beautiful curve. I would say it is the perfect city to get started in. Seattle is a place where people are really connected to nature and care a lot about the environment and the impact that their lives make on the environment. And then there's like a little piece of Seattle that's just a tiny bit dark and willing to think about death and mortality more than the rest of the world. The process requires putting a body in a vessel with wood chips, alfalfa, and straw. By introducing oxygen, the composting takes about a month. The building will have space to hold a service and say goodbye. Right now you can imagine just kind of um, walking with your family in and among those trees. Loved ones can decide if they want to come pick up the soil a month later. But it's a lot, a square yard. They can also donate it to a sustainable forest in southwest Washington. And sometimes I'll be talking to a room full of people and they'll say, you need to make a bigger place. You need to make sure that you build two and three places at once because we all want this in this room. And I say, 
You're not all going to die tomorrow. In Seattle, Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News. Soylent Green is made out of people. Next thing, they'll be breeding us like cattle for food. You gotta tell them, Silent Green is people! So what's interesting is Washington is known for growing potatoes. Bill owns all this land in Washington. Yes, he owns a lot of land in Idaho and Nebraska. Washington has passed this, and other states are passing it, and it doesn't even need to be passed because they're doing this anyway without a law being passed. It's not like somebody's going and grabbing the fertilizer on someone's land and knows how to check it to see if it's human compost or not. Okay, they've been doing this, but they're just going to make it, you know, let you know that they're doing it because they know that nobody cares, so they don't even need to hide it, and they don't need to worry about anyone complaining about it. Because they go, it's eco-friendly. And these dummies who believe in all this stuff with the climate and think they're environmentalists, just like the person who told me they were striking my channel for saying I was going to throw uh, <laughs> something, I cracked a litter joke. Can't even crack a joke about that. These people are so sensitive. Meanwhile, they're just imbeciles. In reality, because they believe all this stuff about the climate. Meanwhile, it's like in the 60s on the East Coast all week. You know, yeah, oh boy, global warming. Boy, really hot. <laughs> I mean, anyone up in the uh, up in the East Coast seeing the sun lately? I don't think so. Nonetheless, the human compost here, the human compost, Bill Gates, Washington land, Idaho land, potatoes, potatoes sent to McDonald's. McDonald's, who's known for... Well, putting certain things in the burgers. Coincidence? I think not. I think not. But these are things that are being normalized, right? The fact that Bill has his hand in this should make people, like, a little suspicious. And Warren Buffett, the richest man, you know, who just, it's like saying, well, I'm going to bet every single sports game every day I'm going to hit 100% of the time because the stock market is a gamble. You know, people are like, well, the stock market's up, so everyone's making money. Well, what if you invested in something that plummeted? It's no different than gambling. That's what it is. And Warren just seems to bat 100. They say people who gamble, they'd be lucky if they batted 50% or hit 50% of their bets. But Warren hits 1,000%. You know why? Because there's no refunds in the old traffic game. Anyway, Gates' focus his energies on saving our climate. He's made it clear that the tater patches are strictly money-making operations, the potato patches. He, uh, he said, my group, my investment group chose to do this. It's not connected to climate. Considering that Gates is said to own 269,000 acres of fertile land in 18 states, it's easy to imagine him keeping track uh, of all of the things being grown on his farms and the spreadsheets. I guarantee he knows exactly what's going on in all these places because the people underneath them have been given orders and they know what to grow and they know what to grow it in. And then they feed it to people because they want us to live like them. And those, that's what people don't understand. They normalize these things like cannibalism, right? Blood drinking. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll go. Frog in my throat. They normalize it because they are doing it to people. They want us to live like them. They want to turn people into them. They want more people to be occultists and satanists and turn from God and live and sin without even knowing they're sinning by the things they're eating and things like that. That's how sick they are. So Bill providing for Mickey D's. No big deal, folks. Nothing to see here. Let's just give Bill more power and more control. What what can Bill get his hand in next? That's the question, right? I mean, he's, <laughs> he's talking about sun shield. I mean, this guy. Whew. I mean, his father, don't forget Bill's father, was on the board for the old planned hood parent. So that must be a quinky dink as well. No coincidences, folks. These people are all... Working together in the occult, places like McDonald's, things like the jab. These are all things they want in your body, and there's a reason for it. And unfortunately, nobody seems to care. So Gates, providing the French fries for those of you who go and you're like, well, I'm not going to get the burger because I know that's in that. Well, now you know it's in the French fries. You should know, at least, if Bill Gates has his hand on it. And the correlation with the old soil, I don't know. Put one and one together. Think for yourself. I want to remind you to check out the website at callforanuprising.com. Again, I have a video going up, or it's up now, actually, um, about the old <laughs> magnets. Everyone loves magnets, and I'm not talking to one about the ones you stick on your fridge. I'm talking about the ones people are sticking on their bodies. So check out the website if you haven't. I want to thank the Patreons. 
because of you, it keeps this YouTube channel going. So if you're not a Patreon, please consider becoming one. Uh, check out the Teespring store if you haven't. And thank you guys for being here. Please thumbs up the videos if you can. I'm trying to get this channel going so more and more people can see it by thumbsing up the videos. It gets picked up. It gets a life in the algorithm. Of course, this is all before they demonetize and shut the channel down, which will happen when I hit somewhere near 100,000. So that's always a good reminder to check out my other channel and subscribe to that as well. It's in the description box and pinned in the comment section below. So thank you guys for being here. God bless all of you and your families.